Welcome back to my channel, Baron McQueen here, and I think you are here because you are struggling to grow on YouTube, and I want to tell you why YouTube is hard. Let's get into the video. So if you're here, you're probably just starting your YouTube journey and you're trying to figure out how do I get monetized? How do I get to this 1,000 subscribers in this dreaded uh, 4,000 watch hours? And um, I think it's important for me as a creator. I've had my channel since 2018. I actually did nothing with the channel and now I am on this journey. So you are not alone. I'm in this journey with you, um, but the toughest thing about the YouTube thing is you have to actually start. <clears throat> you got to start putting out content. For me, I was putting out a video every week, and I would see a subscriber here, three subscribers here, five subscribers here, um, and now my channel now, I'm actually monetized now. I'm at a 1,000, a little over 1,000 subscribers, but I've hit my watch hours, and we are now monetized, so now you can be with me on this journey to getting rich and getting the Lamborghini and the penthouse and all the other things that people on YouTube tell you that you can get. Um, but the thing is, you just have to start. Um, I feel like most people won't even just sit down, look into the camera and share their story, who they are and why they even want to do this YouTube thing. For me personally, I've always wanted to be a YouTube creator, um, especially I'm in the personal branding space and i always tell my clients yo you just got to turn the camera on and you got to get on these social platforms and tell people you who you are like they'll buy from you the person before they buy from the logo right so don't hide behind a logo and really get out there and me i probably struggle with man i'm doing all this content i think right now at the time of this video i have already put out maybe over a hundred videos um and the thing is is I feel that I would not have got monetized if I did not create longer form podcast episodes, which helped increase my watch time. I will say get into the thousand subscribers I felt and you can go on YouTube and some people will tell you otherwise. Me personally, I felt that it was harder to get the 4,000 watch hours than to actually get the subscriber count. So once I got to my subscriber count, I'm like, okay, I got a thousand subscribers. I think I was at maybe 1500 watch hours. And I'm like, all right, man, I'm almost there. I'm a little less than halfway to go. And then we can get to this 4,000 and it took forever. The thing that changed it for me is I started having these sit down interviews for my podcast called Everyday Game Changers. And why I think this is what helped me get to monetization faster was because my episodes were literally 30 minutes to an hour long. So if somebody actually sat there and watched through, let's say I did 55 uh, podcast episodes then I, it helped me get to my 4,000 watch hours a lot longer than if I was just doing this right here, these short form, uh, well, these would be considered long form content. So I strategically, when I wanted to do this long form content in the beginning, I felt like I struggled to try to get to the eight minutes worth of content that people say you needed on YouTube. Like, yo, you don't want to do a video that's less than eight minutes. You want to at least get to eight minutes because that looks good for ads and this. Um, and I think part of the reason why people struggle with starting on this YouTube journey is. I got a key light here. I got a fill light here. You can see my hand right there. I got a nice blue background. I got some props in the back. 
we all look at the production value of other people and other YouTubers like, oh man, I can't start till I get the right camera and the right lighting and the, the ambiance and the mood got to be right for me to record. And I'm here to tell you none of that matters because I had all of this stuff and I still couldn't just sit down and push the record button with it already dialed in and ready to go. So you just really have to start. Um, just think about it like this. If you start today, you are getting closer to becoming full time versus if you keep on waiting for the perfect opportunity and the perfect ring light and the perfect camera and the perfect microphone. This is literally a eighty five dollar mic, but it came as a two pack and I just put a foam on it just so I can give you guys clean audio. Um, but, yo, you just got to start. You got to start on this YouTube journey. I'm here with you. I don't have five thousand subscribers. I don't have. Uh, millions of views on YouTube. I'm going through this journey with you and I'm documenting it. So I'm going to tell you, um, do not give up when you get to the, oh man, I got a thousand subscribers, but I didn't get to my 4,000 watch hours. It is hard. Being a YouTuber is hard. It's hard for people to start seeing your stuff. But if you don't put it out, nobody's ever going to find you. So I recommend you just start today with whatever you got. You got an iPhone, you can film it in the car. You set up a little space in your office at your house and a spare bedroom in the kitchen, wherever works for you to get the content out. There is somebody out there for your piece of bread. I used to have this saying that I would tell people, go to Aldi's, go to Publix, go to whoever your nearest grocery store is and go down the bread aisle. Right. Because people always talk about, oh, there was too many. There's always too many of something. So go down the bread aisle and I want you to count how many different types of bread are in the bread aisle. Right. You got a rye bread, got a wheat bread, got a potato bread, you got a sourdough bread, you got a bagel, you got a raisin cinnamon. You got all these different bread. These people are all still in business, but they have to find the right person for their piece of bread. So when you're on this YouTube journey, you have to find somebody for your piece of bread. Most people say, oh, you should just niche down into dog walkers or you should just niche down into. I've heard some of the craziest niches, but rather than just saying you need to niche down, you just need to kind of just start. Right. You need to introduce yourself to a viewership and talk to them about what you like to talk about on the channel. I'm a personal branding guy. You're going to hear personal branding on my channel. You're going to hear PR because I own a PR agency. You're going to hear marketing. You're going to hear social media tips and you're going to hear this YouTube content that I'm going to be giving you about the YouTube journey. And it's a no fluff. Uh, hey, I'm I make ten thousand dollars a month on YouTube. I haven't even seen a two hundred dollar month yet um, from YouTube since being monetized. But I haven't been consistent putting out content either. And today that changes for me and it can change for you today as well. So welcome on this journey. What I want to tell you, the fastest way to get monetized on YouTube is to I, I don't know if you've been waiting this long for this big reveal, but the big reveal is drum roll, please. To be successful on YouTube and to get monetized quickly is you have to put out content, put out shirts, put out long form, put out vlogs. You just have to put content out because YouTube is going to be trying to find an audience for this content you put out. That's what YouTube is for. So if you don't put out any content, you're not going to grow any audience. So um, I want to thank you for coming. I'm on this journey with you. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. And I'm going to keep giving you guys some of this YouTube journey or things that I'm learning as I'm going through it with you. So you're not in this alone. Baron McQueen, I'll see you on the next episode.